you. Well, the first results are in after South Bend schools changed their GPA policy for student athletes. Yeah, this summer the school board voted to lower the required GPA for underclassmen to play sports. And WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw joins us now. And Zach, they didn't just lower the requirement. No, that's, that's right, Rick. They also re-implemented study tables, which had discontinued in recent years. There was a strong back and forth before the new changes were adopted. Now that they are, both sides are interested in the results and hope that whatever their feelings were before, the students are the ones benefiting now. If you watched any South Bend high school football teams this year, the changes weren't apparent. That's because they happened in the classroom. The school board voted in August to move from a 2.0 GPA all four years to a more gradual increase, starting at a 1.5 freshman year. The senior would still be at a 2.0, junior 1.85, and it goes down with the other two levels. Kirby Whitaker is South Bend School's director of athletics and has been closely monitoring the corporation's results this year. There were 15 athletes who were uh, required to go to study table. Three chose not to. Twelve used the study table. And out of those twelve, seven improved and five did not improve. However, out of the five that did not improve, four went to the study table much less than 40% of the time. We want them to stay eligible so that they can participate in the sports or the extracurriculars um, while excelling on the field as well. School board president Jay Caponegro says it's still a work in progress, but the mandatory tutoring is off to a good start. I'm pleased that the majority of students that have used them have done well with their eligibility. Bill Snydecki, also on the school board, says the study tables could have been implemented while keeping the requirements at a 2.0. I totally agreed with that to let them play as long as they go to these study tables and, and uh, increase their grades. And Snydecki and the others are hoping to continue seeing student athletes improve in the classroom even more than on the field. You know, my goal is nothing else but serve our kids and to make them successful. The school board president says he thinks the new policy is also having an impact at the middle school level, where he says more students are getting involved with athletics. And Zach, they actually have a school board meeting tonight. Yeah, in just a few hours, Rick. The GPA eligibility policy is not on the agenda, but they are going to be discussing a new school board president and potentially starting to talk about a new superintendent search. Okay. And I know we'll have much more on that coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. That's right. All right, Zach, thank you.